Hi, Gary Klaben here. N, P, V, P, M, T, A, R, M, A, U, M. I can keep going, but I'm just kidding. These are financial terms that drive people nuts. So we're going to make it really simple today and not go through all that stuff. So let's start out with what's a loan? Well, it's a sum of money you borrow and pay back with interest. Very simply. What are the four basic elements of a loan? These are always consistently the same. Time, interest rate, loan amount, and payment. What are the four kinds of loans you typically deal with? You'll have student loans, education loans, car loans, credit cards, and then mortgage loans. And then what are the interest rates that you might pay for these kinds of loans? So for student loans, they run from 2 to 12 percent, average about 6. For credit cards, they run from 0 to 30 percent, yes, that high average about 15. For auto loans, 0 to 13 percent, average 4. And for mortgages, 3 to 6 percent, average around 4 percent. So there's time frames on these as well. Student loans, they can go from 10 to 30 years. Um, auto, 2 to 5 years. Credit cards, 0 to 7 years. Mortgages, 5 to 30 years. So you've kind of got the basics now of those four elements. What else is there affecting your loan? Well, guess what? Your credit score. You've heard this. You want good credit. And the reason you want good credit is there's those lower interest rates that makes a huge difference in how much money you're spending on these loans. Well, let's take somebody with good credit and poor credit. Poor credit first. They've got student debt of $40,000 at 8% and monthly 10 years are paying $485. They have a car loan at $25,000 at 5%. It's $472 a month. Credit card balance of $10,000 at 22%, $283 a month. And finally, a mortgage, $180,000, 5.5%, $1,022, totaling $2,262. I mean, it's a lot of money. Well, let's look for good credit now. Good credit, same thing. $40,000 at 5%. That's 424. That 25,000 car loan at 3.5% at 449. The credit card's at 15%, 225. And the home mortgage at 3.75 at 834. That totals 1938. The difference is about $4,000 a year. That's a lot. And you take that over five years, that's $20,000. That's the difference between good credit and poor credit. Obviously, you want to make sure you have good credit.